Hi, it's Robert Murray and welcome to this week's Leadership Minute. It's the one minute video blog where I got a minute to answer a question from leaders like you. The question that I got this week is, how do I manage my boss? Uh, and that's an age old question. I get asked that one an awful lot, uh, you know, from leaders that have absolutely no problem doing peer to peer relationships or managing their team or leading their team but they struggle with leading their boss, especially if it's a personality conflict or their boss doesn't, you know, maybe not be uh, aligned as much as, as they are. Well, I go back to the very, very big basics, basics in terms of how human beings think, and human beings think all the same way. We think in the, the following order, why, what, and how. So most often we get really, really frustrated if our boss is asking us all sorts of questions around what is it you're trying to do and why are you doing it that particular way. And uh, one of the things that I've always found that helps me is when I focus on talk, starting with why, starting with the purpose. So here's, here's an example of this. You know, I would go first and foremost, if I've got a situation or a challenge or an opportunity or an issue, I would go to my manager. And I would say something like along the lines of, I've got an issue that I need to talk to you about. Get, I'll tell you what, what's going on, and then I'm going to tell you what my solution is. And the reason why I want to do this is because, so when you use the word because, it sets up the, the conversation for why, what, and how. So just by saying the word because, it tunes in their ears to the reason why. Then, after they figure, heard the reason why, they're ready to listen to what, and then they're ready to listen to the how part. Managing your boss is much, much simpler than, than you think it is. Um, make sure that you are not ego-driven by any conversation, or make sure that your ego, your conversation that you're having with yourself inside is not about your ego. Um, <clears throat> the, the other thing is that if for some reason there's a values misalignment, then you just have to start asking yourself the question, is this really the person or the organization that I want to work for? But try the first method first and foremost. Start with why, then with what, and then with how. Uh, and use the word because after, uh, when you start to lead into the, the reason why. And most often what you'll find is that they're ready to listen and they will stop micromanaging it. That's it for this week. Keep sending me your questions. Thank you.